Depending on the type of TV or film project producers are attempting to make, the right of publicity may have an impact on their project, so it's important for producers to understand what is the right of publicity. Hi, James Pachibi, Entertainment Attorney and Production Counsel in Los Angeles. The right of publicity is the right that individuals have to control the use of their name and likeness in a commercial setting. For example, you cannot put a photo of someone on a product without their permission. Celebrities, of course, make a lot of money exploiting their publicity rights by endorsing products. However, the right of publicity is not limited to celebrities as the courts have recognized that this is an inherent right of every person to be able to control the commercial use of their identity and image. The right of publicity seeks to ensure that a person is compensated for the commercial value of their name or likeness. However, the nature uh, and extent of that right varies across the country because there are no federal laws regarding the right of publicity and 35 states have laws regarding individuals' right of publicity. For example, here in California, the Celebrities Rights Act, which was passed in 1983, 1985, allows a celebrity's personality rights to survive their death and pass on to their heirs. Regardless of which state laws apply, the, protect the protections provided by these laws typically include protection of a person's name, image, voice, signature, and likeness. The right of publicity can often clash with free speech rights under the First Amendment, and films are a form of expression protected by the First Amendment. Understanding the interplay between the right of publicity and the First Amendment can be very important for producers. Documentary filmmakers, for example, would likely be able to use the name, image, voice, and likeness of a celebrity if done appropriately in a documentary film, whereas producers of a narrative film using actors could not use the image, voice, and likeness of the subject without permission. So in the case of the use of the name or likeness of Marilyn Monroe, for example, on a coffee mug or a t-shirt, there is no expression there that deserves protection under the First Amendment. The seller of these products is not making a statement or expressing an opinion such as may be found in a documentary film. The seller is simply trying to make a buck by exploiting the name and likeness. Since there are no First Amendment rights needing protection in this example, the right of publicity may stop the unauthorized use of name, a name or likeness. Thus, the law draws a distinction between products that contain protected expression and those that do not. Generally speaking, it is permitted to use without consent a person's name or likeness in a play, book, magazine, uh, newspaper article, musical composition, audiovisual work, radio or television program, work of art, work of political or newsworthy, newsworthy value, or um, an announcement of these works. But uh, courts have struggled with the issue of whether the right of publicity descends to a person's heirs. In other words, when a celebrity dies, does his estate, his estate inherit his right of publicity? Can the state continue to control the use of the celebrity's name or likeness, or can anyone use it without permission? Some courts have held that the right of publicity is a personal right that does not descend. In California, courts initially held that was the case, but in 1984, the California legislature enacted the Celebrities Rights Act, and that changed the law. And now this statute here in California provides that the right of publicity descends and lasts for 70 years after the death 
of that person. A similar statute known as the Astaire Celebrity Protection Act prohibits the unauthorized use of the name, voice, signature, photograph, or likeness uh, on or in products or goods. In other states, the right to publicity may dissent. The rights of the air sovereign may be outweighed by the other person's First Amendment rights. Because the right of publicity is a state-based right, as opposed to a federal right, its application can vary depending on which state laws apply. In many jurisdictions, even if there's not a specific right of publicity, this right may be recognized by the courts. If you have any questions or if you have a project you wish to discuss, don't hesitate to contact us.